In this session, I'm going to show you how to set up Hunk to analyze and visualize data that comes from MongoDB NoSQL database. Before we start the setup, we need to download Hunk from splunk.com slash download slash Hunk. We also need to download a Splunk application called Hunk App for MongoDB. We need to install MongoDB itself. In my case, I installed it on my Linux box. And the last piece of software that I downloaded for this setup is the actual dataset. I downloaded the Northwind Mongo dataset from GitHub. The next part we need to do is after we downloaded the Hunk app for MongoDB, we need to install it. To install this application, all we need to do is we enter Hunk homepage, select the apps section on the upper left corner, click on manage apps. There we're going to install the app from the file. We're going to choose that application. It's called Hunk App for MongoDB underscore 101.tgz. Select that. Select the open. And we're going to ask Hunk to upload this application into its container. This will require us to restart Hunk. After we restarted Splunk, we can log back in. And see that if we select the Splunk logo on the upper left corner, we see the application has been installed for us. The next part we need to do is to set up Hunk to communicate and bring data back from MongoDB. To do that, we select the settings option on the upper right corner of the Hunk UI, click on the virtual indexes link. Underneath providers, when we install the MongoDB, there is a new entry called local MongoDB provider with the provider family being MongoDB underscore ERP underscore family. So the very first thing I need to do is to modify the host to communicate with my uh, send box as well as if the command Java does not bring any result we may want to point to the Java home as the value for vix that command then select the virtual indexes option and in there we will see a existing mongodb vix select that option and you will see several flags before we populate these four keys let's talk about the where to get the values for those keys the very first key we need to populate it's called vix.mongodb.db you can use the database in mongodb as the value for this key the second one that the configuration requires it's called vix.mongodb.collection in my case if i execute the command db.getCollectionsName or show collections it will show me the collections that are available to me within the MongoDB database. So in, in this case, for example, I have the time chart collection and that will be the value. The third thing we need to do, if we wish to have a key for the time, we need to populate the vix.mongodb.field.time and you can see that in this example, it is going to be called created at and the last thing we need to tell hunk the format of the timestamp 
and so you need to populate vix.mongodb, that field, that time, that format, and we need to match the format, in this case it's yyy-mm-dd, to match the year, month, and day that comes from MongoDB. In addition, the MongoDB app supports a few other options for time format. For example, you can set up epoch, object ID, or several different options for the date format. As mentioned earlier, I'm going to use the Northwind dataset. So the DB flag is going to be set to Northwind as well as I'm going to create two virtual indexes, one for categories and one for products. And furthermore, the time is going to be set to underscore ID and the format is going to be set to object ID. Once I've modified the provider to connect to my MongoDB, the next part is to create two virtual indexes, one to my products collection, and the other one is to the categories collection in the Northwind database. When I created the Northwind products virtual index, you can see the collection being products, the DB is Northwind, the format is object ID, and the time is underscore ID. And now I'm going to create one more virtual index for the Northwind categories. Once we have created the two virtual indexes, the categories and the products, we can now search using the Splunk search command those two collections. So click on the Splunk logo, click on the search and reporting application, and now you can type in index equals Northwind product and search the MongoDB database. And as we can tell, Hunk goes in to MongoDB using the connection that we provided and bring us all the keys and all the values. It tells us the host, the source, the source type. Also it gives us the keys on the left side arranged and indexed and this data can then turn into visualization very quickly. Another thing we can do is we can go in and filter some of the data so we don't need to bring all the data from MongoDB into Hunk. For example, we can type in category ID larger than 5 and then once we search for that, Hunk will go in and bring us only the items that fit this criteria. For example, now we only get 23 events instead of the original 77 event. So for example, if you want to do a query on product that will discontinued, we can click on the discontinued key, which will give us two values, and we can immediately create analytics based on that information in the Hunk UI. Once we stream the data from MongoDB, we can then leverage the Splunk commands. For example, we can leverage the stats sum function. We can uh, leverage the sort, and Splunk has many commands that we can leverage to create some sort of uh, analytics and visualization. So within a few seconds of the moment that you queried MongoDB, you can then go in and create dashboard reports, alerting based on the data, and we can create a very sophisticated analytics as we just saw from this short example. 
we can have a command called join based on the category ID and then bring in a sub search from the Northwind categories and combine that data with the Northwind products. Hank will go into MongoDB and bring us the subset of the data that comes in from the uh, Northwind categories for categories that are larger than three and then join them with the Northwind products and give us the top category name that combine the products and the categories from those two tables. Once we have created the searches and reports, we can leverage the dashboard capabilities within Hunk to query the data in MongoDB and visualize it in a very nice way. Mapping the threes are all supported, the ability to go in and drill down on a subset of the data is also supported and so on and so forth. This capabilities is one of the strength of Hunk where you can take a raw data, index it, and then search on it and visualize it within a few minutes. To find more information about Hunk, go to Splunk.com and click on the link to the Hunk product. From there, you can find other links to data sheets, white papers, and many blogs, as well as if you go to apps.splunk.com and search for MongoDB, you will find the link to the app and you'll get some documentation and further details about this option. Thank you.